What's the pettiest mm. thing you've done? Okay. <laughs> you love petty. Oh, I'm Tom when Petty. He celebrates <laughs> it. Oh, Which dude, doesn't I'm really Richard Petty. Fit with what do you mean? Like, well, petty seems like it would be, like you would find it annoying. Uh, to a certain, yeah, in certain situations, yes. But in other situations, it's fantastic. Like you like revenge and stuff. Like I that. love revenge. So petty is kind yeah. of like that. Okay. That vengeance maybe. is pretty great. I think I yeah, told you. I forget one of the. Awesome. I forget one. Of, I forget one of the uh, what the uh, service was. One of the streaming services, but it's like vengeance movies. I'm like, rip it. Oh, knows yeah. me. Uh, rip. Yeah, and, and it what? just made. I yeah, thought about rule. Yeah, I thought about great. Like, oh yeah, all those movies are so good. They're so <laughs> good. Like a man's family was murdered. Right. And he's out to get revenge. Like that's awesome. Starring Liam. That is great. Neeson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no dragons in it, Rave. I, mean, I know. <laughs> I that's forgot. what I get. Dragon movies. I forgot that Liam Neeson has a movie just out. <laughs> He Retribution. Does? Nice. Retribution. I think it's I watched it. Probably so bad. <laughs> I think I yeah. watched How dare it. You. Um, a woman posted this, and I'm asking the ladies out there if you agree or disagree on this. It says, if I pay for your dinner, I am in no way serious about dating you at all. Like, ever. That was posted by a woman. Oh, she, oh, she pays for my dinner. Yeah. So okay. th th this is posted by a woman. She says, if I pay for yeah. your dinner... I am in no way serious about dating you at all. Yeah, you're in like the friend ever. zone. Mm. There are a lot of chicks in the comments who are all in on that concept. So, ladies, my question, if you pay, does that mean that you're not into them and you have no interest? I mean, I totally get what Menace is saying. If I'm paying for dinner, I'm out with my friend. Yep. Yeah. Friend zone. Immediately. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree like, I believe one. in equal rights, guys. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how this is even a question. <laughs> yeah, you're out with your friend. But there are also some people. I would think. I mean, I'm taking the, I'm taking the devil's advocate on this one. There are also some one, uh, some people out there. I'm sure, ladies, who want to show that you're not just there for the handout, or you're not just. That's one out of one. You're not just a pretty face. Like you, one hundred. Like you, you are here. You are here That's to one contribute. Out of one million. I'm playing devil's <laughs> advocate. I'm not saying I believe it. I've I... had girls try to pull that move on me, like tenth date, and they'll try at that mm. point to then, you know. Pick okay. up one at a time. You've gone on yeah. a 10th date? Yeah, 10 date? dates with one chick? Oh, sure, why not? Really? That wow. That doesn't sound like you. I, I agree with Seabass, though, on that, where it depends on where the relationship is at or how many dates. At the beginning, typically, I think the guy, if you're dating, is paying for it, but then later on, you do start to split. Like, okay, we, we've established. What are you putting your hands up for? Like, everybody's on the same page, I think, for the most part. I was giving a, a devil's advocate. Right. Seabass has his hands in the air like, that. <laughs> thank you. It's like, dude, we're, we're all agreeing. All right. Continue, Sammy. <laughs> no, just once the dating has been established, it's like we don't have you don't have to keep paying for all of our meals, if that makes sense. Right. That yeah, does. Yeah. Definitely does. Although you yeah. would prefer uh, it that way. Yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> no. No. You've admitted that. <laughs> no, it. Yeah. you've even admitted that. You have admitted that. Like, I'll offer. Uh, I don't want No, to. no, no. If I have things, to pay, I'm never gonna see him again. Not once things have been established. If at the very beginning I am paying for our entire meal, both me and you, that is a. But now, when right you say the beginning, how long does that last? I uh, would think at least five to ten dates, right? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, I've done that on a first date. But or, you weren't into the guy. No, I ended up dating them for too long. Yeah, but then you're <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm speaking from experience on that kind of stuff. Okay. And then your answer to that was that's a sign that he has no ambition, right? Isn't that how you phrased it? Right, yeah, kind of, yeah. But if he doesn't of, pay yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. You just said red flag. We know yeah, Ray is not paying flag. for anything. What? I try to pay. Oh, right. When you and I go out, sometimes I always say, let me that's pick this different. up. And you're like, no. You never let anybody else pick no, up but a that's, check. No, but that's different. Because you're not potential. You're not dating. You're not suitors. Right. Yeah. He's not wooing you. Yeah, I just can't see Ray being a dating situation. A date, maybe. Ever. Right. Like, right. down the road. But like I'm like Seabass. When do I date down the road? Yeah, one slam. of Greg's favorite examples. <laughs> Just Remember the time <laughs> we had a uh, a listener event and we had drink tickets that were, were <laughs> they were provided to us. So the, these are free drinks. Each yeah. ticket's good for a free drink. We each have a pocket full of these things. And the listener came up to Ravy. He's like, "Hey, Ravy, let me buy you a drink." And she goes, "All right." <laughs> yeah. and that means Just that one. he was going to pay cash for both of them. She didn't offer up these tickets that she had Say, just oh, burning a hole in her oh, pocket. Never mind. Let me cover it. <laughs> I have these this, I like, this is the only thing you can cite. Uh, you cite this all the time. Well, the, one a, incident. Because you know why? It's one. a great example. One yeah. incident. But you know, you never have a backup. It's a and great well, example. We're not out with you and your dork friends, yeah. but I'm giving you things. The best part was at the end of that day, she was on her way out and threw all the drink tickets in the trash. <laughs> 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 she had never used any. 
breakfast. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> Bye. Also, I mean, there's all those signs that she got us breakfast to balance it out. You know? Oh. Oh. It is a great example, though, right? Yeah. I love hearing it. Oh, well. <laughs> Constantly. Well, now you can see how ugly it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I guess to consider it ugly, I would have to care. Oh, don't. See that. Oh, I didn't then, right, and I don't see now. The, see right. I admire that about right. Ray. I love that. Now, going back to the petty thing. Last man standing. We'll open up the phones. What's the pettiest thing that you've done? 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Again, personally, I'm a big fan of petty, even if some people don't admit it. I think if we're all being honest with ourselves, I think we all are. Like if somebody yeah. pissed you off or whatever, and you get that little petty dig at the, you know, whatever. I think. I don't I, think I, you would have liked my last petty thing. I think that brings joy. I brought joy to me. That's what I mean. It brings joy to you when you pull something that's like real petty. But you guys would be like, oh, that's not cool. Which is what? <laughs> uh, as Greg knows, I don't like it when people park in front of my house. Yeah. But especially if you're just park and your car just sits for days. Right. Oh. So this car was sitting for days. And I was riding my bicycle by. You know oh. what I did? I took the gum out of my mouth and shoved it right under their door handle. You oh, did? Why? Wow. Well, wow. No, because it was really hot out, too. So whenever they grabbed that, that was going to be a melty mess. Oh, now, before, wow. you, before you judge, Ravy has like three cars and she needs to keep them all parked. Oh, <laughs> way. If she doesn't even use that space. That's true. She parks in her driveway. If you interfere with me and my ability to get yep. my garbage cans out on garbage day, wow. you uh, will get gone. Ravy, that could have been posed. That, did I really do this? And then you tell you tell us what it is, and I would have said no. I don't no think way. you really did that. I did. As the owner of the home, oh, oh wait, <laughs> right underneath. Awesome. I can't believe you admitted that. Why? That's, that's hilarious. That's, bad. that's what? like a twelve-year-old does I, that. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, not in that situation. I just happened to be riding by. I'm like, yep, here we go. I'm not saying like Done. a. If you. I'm not yeah. saying a situation uh-huh. hasn't called for that. I did something. Almost as well. No, maybe worse than that. Once, as remember that neighbor I had that lived upstairs. I told you guys he was n- just stomping around constantly, and I finally confronted him and said, "Why don't you ever just sit down and have a meal?" That was my big, <laughs> my big outrage. Right. Well, before I confronted him, he was the loudest upstairs neighbor of all time, and he had a convertible BMW. And back in the days <laughs> when I still smoked, I was walking by it, and I'm like. I'm done with this cigarette, and I flicked it right into his car. Jeez, <laughs> Ray. It, it didn't catch fire or anything, but I bet it burned uh, a hole. Oh, seat. man. <laughs> I know this was years ago. Oh, my God. That's funny. Uh, I think you guys might have known about this. You know when people park so close? I had to crawl out of the uh, passenger side oh, door. Awful. Over the center console, out the passenger side, because I could not open the driver's side door. Wow. When I came back out of the store to get into my car, this person had parked so close. Oh, so I, I hate that. So I crawled in through the, you know, passengers over the console, and then uh, what little I could open the door, with complete disregard for my own car, I used it as a battering ram. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 oh boom, boom, God. boom, 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 boom. Slam the door, backed out of there. Chad. That, that's dude. basically merited, though. Yeah, yeah like, dude. What did they I expect? Mean, they were over the line. <laughs> over the line. Yeah. Did you damage like, your own car? He didn't barely. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> he's in the he's at the advantage because he's using the, that corner on the yeah. yes, and they they have a flat surface, so he's yes. corner against flat. So that's good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it had like a pleat, yeah. like in the in the door. I'm like, yeah. you know what, dickhead, that's your fault. Oh no. <laughs> no, I've got in the car since we're in the topic and directly related yeah. to rabies. I don't know. Uh-huh. I was young man, 16, and there's this great hill in my neighborhood that goes down, and there's a little hump at the bottom, so you can get air. Big nice. Okay. So we took my 15-passenger, my family's 15-passenger van. Oh, the one they hauled mulch around in? Oh, yeah. Yep. Church van. Big old church van uh, for a family. And went down, got some air, and landed so hard that the both the front hubcaps flew off. <laughs> oh, my God. It the, the, the corresponding front yards on either side of the road. All right. This one dad, mm-hmm. now rightfully so, comes out and pissed as hell. Sure. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. So, of course, we knew where he lived. Oh, so. yeah. We enjoyed delicious Arby's sandwiches for dinner. Yeah. And then took the Arby's bag, and I took a dump in it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Returned to that vehicle, and just like Ravy, 
<laughs> Probably inspired previously by Ravy, premonitionally. Yeah. And I left uh, Seabass Kaka. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> On the door handle. Under the door handle, I should say. <laughs> really? <laughs> For no good. It was my fault completely. See, yeah. what's worse you're the, the one that <laughs> You're the one causing hot ruckus in neighborhoods. Uh, but I was a, <laughs> I was a young a uh, uh, Yeah, that's true. I was over 50 youth. when yeah. I did yeah. this. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> my story, Greg, what was your story? How oh, old were you? I was probably let's say 30. Yeah, I was in my 20s. I was like maybe late 20s. I was a minor. But like late yeah, 20s. I was over 50. This is last oh. week for Randy. Right? Oh my god. Ugh. Menace, will you admit to any? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, all my stuff is, like, pretty pet, um, public and, like, online pettiness, you know? It's, it's something stupid. It's not, like, dog poop. I wish it was. And, like, yeah. the gum story and you stuff can make like that. that happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Why don't you I try should it? do it. Try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I try should it do it. Yeah, yeah, vandalize a car. I just, yeah. like, go. That way you have a story to contribute. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, if I get bad customer service, you know I always go above and beyond to make sure, sure it's known that I did. So I, I I guess I'm very petty in that way. I just don't let it go. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't I don't have anything involving fecal matter, mm. okay, <laughs> or gum, or <laughs> gum. Yeah, it's just like, property damage. It's just property like damage, messing right. with other. Ra I mean, oh, we could admit this one. You know, when we found out like one of our radio stations, old radio stations that fired us, was like flipping formats, and they were gonna get a new. Web domain. We bought up all the web. All of, that is true. All yeah. of them. That was yeah. pretty funny. That's Anything yeah. that could they could possibly think of to come up with to use as a website, like we bought we all bought of them. Everything. All of them. Yeah. All of like them. literally, probably like thirty-five different names. They ended up with the dumbest <laughs> website, <laughs> like Rock One Hundred Four Five, Alt One Hundred Four Five. Yeah. Know. Everything. Oh, the, the, everything. Everything. Which, which, SF's One Hundred Four Five. And then right, they ended up with having to call it like you know, uh, you know, it's, it's not the city, but like you know. Detroit's alternative yeah. rock and blah 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 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. it, it was so it was the bad. Longest show. It was the worst. <laughs> and it, it popped up on TV one time because yeah. they were doing an interview, and I was laughing because it looked so bad <laughs> on so TV dumb. in print. And then all yeah. the 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 names that we bought, it all just went to the Barney theme song. Yeah, just oh. for fun. Yeah. Fun. All right. So what's the uh, what's the pettiest thing you've done? Eighty four percent of people admit to being petty sometimes or holding a grudge over something small. And according to the poll, the thing that brings it out. In us is your significant other number one on the list. Wow. Road rage That's not number cool. two, followed by being petty at work, road rage with friends and on social media. Well, that happened to me. I got the uh, tampon stuck to the side of my house after oh, I was caught right. banging those three chicks at the same time. No, high <laughs> five, dude. High you know five, bruh. Any opportunity. <laughs>